Hello and welcome to Patrick's Models and Transports. So this evening, uh, I'm not making a full video about model buses, but uh, this, is a, this is a sort of preview video on, and we'll begin with some Glasgow, west of Scotland buses, definitely Glasgow, because that's where I am from. At least I was born in Glasgow. I'm half from Glasgow. My mum's from Glasgow. And uh, so we'll be looking through the EFE Leyland Atlantean, which I have improved, as you can see. And here are some pictures that I, this was when I was doing, improving the model, working on the model. Oops. It's not right there. I did some jobs using styrene because the bustle this model didn't have the prototypical Alexander bodywork bustle at the back. It practically only had the sort of notch cut out of the MCW. And I do have an MCW vid um, uh, Atlantean, so we'll actually make a comparative video. It still has the one-piece uh, rear engine shroud because of course there's no way I can modify that to make the three-piece part and uh, but you can see that I have lowered the overhang and when I did this job I also uh, dismantled the bus removing the rivets underneath and I opened it and I actually have all the photographs and I also improved the interior but we'll have to make a proper video close up uh, with lighting and things so this way you can see the, that thing in detail. I also painted the cab I also um, I also uh, made the dashboard so I really did a very good custom I, cust I customized the bus I also painted all the handrails I painted the the seats were a terrible blue and I painted them the right shade of green even all the interior but we'll have to look at this here with uh, a close-up light a very detailed tour of this bus then we have uh, so this is my modified EFE Atlantean even here where there were the safety rails those have been covered because prototypically this bus did not have those the guardrails it had, didn't have the guardrails, it had the, in fact I covered them with styrene, you can see, and uh, LA1, if I don't remember badly, has uh, uh, the guardrails, but that's an earlier bodywork. And special thanks, great, I received great help, help from my friend Mark Caldwell of uh, the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust, who photographed one of the interior of one of the buses in the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle, uh, an identical Atlantean in the Glasgow Vintage Vehicle Trust uh, uh, collection. Really, this was I shared all the photos. I've got all the photographs of this, so this will actually deserve uh, a dedicated video, a proper one. But we'll get around to doing that. Anyway, then we have a uh, Graham's Bus Service Limited. This is a guy Arab. This is a Brit bus, collection bus, and nice little model. These were ex-London uh, guys, guy Arabs, if I don't remember badly. And uh, I have a fond memory of Graham's bus services. When I was a kid, they were running Atlantean, doing Atlanteans, because uh, when we were going by car, from my grandparents' house to my aunt's house, from my grandparents lived in Hillhead, Glasgow, and my aunt lives in Barhead, and uh, we're going along uh, Paisley Road West, which then turns into Glasgow Road under Paisley, and then we were going straight up towards Barhead on a hill that goes over a hump hill, a road, and we were passing Graham's Bus Service Depot, so I always used to keep my eyes open to see Graham's bus service, Graham's bus service depot, that was always nice to see. It was also interesting to see some Atlanteans in a different colour that wasn't, you know, uh, strath, 
Translate or Greater Glasgow PTA, the old uh, PT um, yellow, yellow, white, white, yellow, and green uh, livery, or uh, green and yellow anyway, or whatever shades, and then eventually Strathclyde red. Then we also have a trolley bus. This is a OOC Corgi model. This is TB4 Sunbeam trolley bus of the short-lived. Uh, Trolleybus network in Glasgow, which they were in service between 1949 and 1967. They were unwisely taken out of service in 1967. Of course, Glasgow even more unwisely withdrew its wonderful tram network, the second tram network after London, so the second biggest in the empire in 1962. And many tram lines had actually been replaced by trolleybus lines. Which trolley buses in Glasgow were, were nicknamed the Silent Death because in Glasgow, probably because in Glasgow people have the, even nowadays, they have the habit of sort of, you know, crossing the road uh, without, lo without, what, without looking, they sort of listen, listen to what's coming. Now, there's plenty of jaywalkers in Glasgow. This is what an old uncle of mine who was from Yorkshire. He used to sum Glasgow up as, oh, Glasgow, fancy cakes and jaywalkers. That's what he used to say, Uncle, my Uncle Steve. <laughs> he was my grandmother's brother-in-law. And uh, my grandmother used to jaywalk, I remember. We used to be in the, cross the road, Byers Road in Glasgow, and she said, come on, loop, loop, on we go. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, so... They were nicknamed the Silent Death because unlike motor buses, motor buses are noisy and the tram cars, the cars as they were called in Glasgow, are also noisy. A tram makes plenty of noise, lots of, you know, squealing wheels and etc, uh, etc. Et the trolleybus is much, much quieter. So that's why they were nicknamed the Silent Death because... They'd creep up on you, and then you'd catch a trolley bus, wouldn't you? That wouldn't be a good idea. So, this is another nice model. This is from my Glasgow collection. But uh, the collection is quite quite vast. My, my 00176 scale British bus collection. So, that was just a quick overview of something very Glasgow. And... Uh, but there's more Glasgow stuff and there's more West of Scotland buses in my collection. And uh, just see my friend John of uh, Mega Bread Van was asking to see some model buses. And uh, I think that might be very, might, 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 might satisfy his uh, and other people's curiosity. Okay, cheerio and see you next time. Ah, of course. If you like the video, you can give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, click the notification bell. And uh, let's try and see what's going on inside this bus. Nothing happening in there. You can see the green paint. Let's pop a light on. Let's see if maybe we can actually see. Ah, yes. If I put the light on here, you can sort of see that the green, the interior has been painted green. And to paint that green, I mixed uh, Vallejo, uh, Vallejo paint, and I mixed green and black to get the right shade of green. Okay, cheerio, and see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Hortara.